Welcome back. September is Hunger Action Month, and WCVB is a proud partner of the Greater Boston Food Bank. This Wednesday is our annual Day of Giving. WCVB is dedicating the day to the issue of food insecurity and highlighting the work of the Greater Boston Food Bank, its partners and volunteers who are making a difference for thousands of families. The state of Massachusetts is in a hunger crisis. One in three adults are experiencing food insecurity, with nearly 70% living right here in eastern Massachusetts. Joining us now is Jonathan Tatro, Vice President of Community Impact and Operations at the Greater Boston Food Bank. Welcome today. So Jonathan, we focused a lot of today's program on affordable, accessible grocery options, but the reality is that in today's economic climate, even these resources are not enough to stave off food insecurity for many people. So how does GBFB fill the gaps? Thanks so much, Karen. Thank you for having me on. Uh, and we are very excited about WCVB's support on the September 20th, the Day of Giving. So looking forward to that. Uh, the Greater Boston Food Bank's role here is, is really to uh, acquire large amounts of perishable and shelf-stable foods from different sources across the state and then distribute that food to our, our nearly 600 strong partner agency network across Eastern Massachusetts so that individuals and families who are struggling and who need additional support have some place in their community to go and get that support that they're needing. And many people would be surprised to find out who is food insecure because hunger touches all of the demographics of age, race, and ethnicity. Uh, during the Day of Giving, we're going to hear about how the food bank is providing culturally responsive food to its clients as well. Yes, we are. And what does that mean? Sure. So the, our network is serving almost 600,000 individuals across eastern Massachusetts each month. And within those 600,000 across 190 cities and towns, you have many different cultures and, and backgrounds, preferences um, represented within that 600,000. And so at the Greater Boston Food Bank, we really try to focus on providing free, nutritious food to our partners. So uh, last year we distributed over 19 million pounds of fresh produce. Uh, and as we get feedback from our agency partners and the, and the individuals that they serve, we're able to tailor our food purchasing uh, to make sure that we're, uh, we're offering something for everybody. Um, this past year, we're actually uh, purchased over 75% of the product that we distributed. And so we have a lot of control over what we're able to bring into the building and, and share out with our network for free. And, you know, that's important. Talk about why fundraising like this day of giving is so important to the food bank. You know, you could just encourage people to host food drives and collect cans, but the fundraising is an important part of this, isn't it? It is. It is. And, you know, as I mentioned, we purchase over 75 percent of uh, the product that we distribute. So the image of uh, donated dented cans from uh, from the early days of food banking, it just isn't uh, accurate anymore. We are purchasing first rate, highly nutritious, quality produce uh, and shelf stable items to distribute. And so donating financial means to the Greater Boston Food Bank directly goes to support how much food that we can purchase and then distribute to that network. The food bank relies on dedicated staff, people just like you, to accomplish the mission. And we're going to get to celebrate a special employee during the televent. Tell us a little bit about Jose Vega. Jose Vega is a, is a fantastic colleague, uh, part of my team. Uh, Jose drives one of our tractor trailers, uh, and he is out on the road uh, every day getting uh, the food from our fantastic warehouse out into the community. Our, where, our food does not do any good if it stays in our facility, in the, the great facility you can see behind me in the image there, but it has to come out to uh, the communities that we serve across Eastern Massachusetts into the hands of our partners and ultimately distributed to those individuals and families. So it's, he, he plays a critical role uh, in that supply chain to move the food uh, from a central location, really efficient warehouse, out into, into the community that last mile uh, where folks can make use of it. And so we need more pe more Jose's to help the food bank do its job, right? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We actually uh, we have some openings right now in our operation, both drivers uh, and in the warehouse. Uh, anybody who's interested, please visit the career page on uh, GBFB.org. We'd be happy to have you join the team. All right. We're looking forward to sharing Jose's story and the story of many others. Thank you for joining us, Jonathan. So the WCVB Day of Giving kicks off with our eye opener team on Wednesday, September 20th. WCVB will be raising funds throughout the day, and we ask that you help us by giving what you can. When you call in, you may get to speak with one of your favorite WCVB reporters or anchors. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Please have a great afternoon.